All right, so now we're continuing on with our final assembly. We've got all the sub-assemblies done, leak tested, and now we're putting everything in together on, uh, for a dry fit. So we're getting very close to the end here. So what we've got here, we've got the tank. Uh, we've got the great assembly uh, uh, already done. We've got inside the hearth. We've got the air jets in, air jacket liner. We've got the mortar uh, sealed up. We've already got our choke plate in. So everything inside the reactor is good to go. Uh, so now what we have is I've got the cooling assembly, so dry fit, and then I've got uh, tabs where the tabs are going to get welded. Um, they're held together by a 5 16 bolt. So what we're going to do is we're going to dry fit everything, make sure we got good tight fit, then we're going to weld those tabs on. So this critical junction here where we're coming out of the uh, heat exchange into the cooling, we want a good metal on metal fit here. So we're going to get everything tightened up. And then once we've got everything with a, with a good fit, then we're going to add the tabs. So I've got, for example, here's some tabs. It's basically two pieces connected by the 5 16 bolt, nut and bolt. And then we're going to put this on this case. We're going to weld one here, one here, then up in here. We'll have weld here, weld here. We're going to do that all the way around here on the gas exit. You can see here we've got the braces. We've got the two tabs. So we're going to get everything plumbed and leveled. And then we're going to tack weld this, all these tabs on. So now once everything is fit, the tabs are going to be the very last thing that we do. And then once we have all the tabs in place, then I'm going to take it apart. You can see it's, it's kind of got beat up during the final assembly. We're going to disassemble the components and then I'm going to touch up all the paint and then put everything back together and then put the final seals on. So we've got some of the uh, black silicone. We'll put our high temperature silicone here um, and then it's pretty well ready to go. All right, everyone, so welcome back. So we pretty well finished up our, our build. We've got all the sub-assemblies connected, leak tested. You see we've got it put together here. I've got it, the paint touched up on it. Um, we've got it wired up for the thermocouple. We've just got to add, plug it into the display. See here we've got all our tabs welded on. We've got all of our silicone hoses connected, connected and tightened up. Here's our tabs. We've got our silicone connector on. We've got the wiring. So everything, everything looks pretty good at this stage. We do have done our final leak testing. Basically what I do, I just stuck a blower on the front air intake and I pushed air into the system and we use the same uh, leak testing using the spray bottle with the soap solution. We spray all of the silicone connectors. Uh, all of the caps, make sure everything's tight down, nothing's leaking. Yeah, so the final leak testing's done, everything looks good. So it's on the pallet. I've got it secured to the pallet. Now for shipping, this particular one's going to be shipped to a customer. So I've taken off the uh, blower cover. Um, I've taken off the switch box. And we're going to put that in a separate box down here where I've got miscellaneous parts. So I've got the, the blower cover, the battery box, the wheels, some extra spray paint for touch-up, uh, the flare cup, the 90-degree elbow. So all the miscellaneous things are going to go in this box. So all that remains now is I just have to wrap it up. I'm going to do some cardboard wrap, and then I'm going to put some stretch wrap around it. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get this shipped off to the customer. So that's a complete build, everyone. Good luck on your builds, and we will see you on the next one.